UFC Heavyweight Showdown. Here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range when you're getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their turn. He's doing it on his turn. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker. One of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at the bar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It is time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's easy folks. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 254 pounds. Assassin! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon! You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. All right, let's get this one started here. Round one is underway. And we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high... Oh! Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. All right, here we go, early round one. We talk about wrestling being a great equalizer in MMA, but length and reach is another one. He's got a great jab. We'll see if he can employ it tonight. You have got to be born with it, right? You don't get taller. When you're a tall guy, you have to understand, make your skill set match your physical abilities. And this guy has done this tremendously. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. That's a big strike right there. Single collar 
power tie now. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. He got him. Right hand there. Beautiful leg kick throw. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Nice punch lands over the top. He gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Big body kick lands. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Beautiful strike. Able to check that kick as well. Nice sneaky head kick. of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Head kick. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Oh! Well, that body kick was there. Whoa! What a fight so far. Take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Work his head, work the head. Oh, beautiful knee to the body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage, and he put it to good use there. Huge strike lands there. Somehow, his opponent stayed upright. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we... Punch lands. That's as good a punch as he's thrown all night. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the one that land perfect. And that one landed perfectly. That strike blocked by Lee. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice strike. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. All right, he engages oh, in the huge fight. elbow. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. Oh! Oh! And just like that, 
the fight is over. Unbelievable. Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. Oh, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're gonna find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop to this contest at four minutes, five seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by...